and I'm delighted to say that we're joined by Chris Eubank Jr. who's taken a break from his training camp over in America to join us. Jet lag all right, Chris? Um, I've had a couple <laughs> cups of coffee, so I'm, I'm doing all right. Yeah. Oh, that, that's good. And our very own Johnny Nelson as well. Good it's, to see you, Johnny. stuck with me, I'm afraid. No jet lag from you, there's no excuses. <laughs> no excuses. Chris, how, how excited are you to be back in the ring? October the 2nd, you're going to be headlining our very first show. Listen, it's a privilege to be here. I've had a, a great relationship with Sky over the years, and now to be launching this kind of new generation, this next generation of boxing on Sky Sports, it's an awesome opportunity, and I'm, uh, you know, I'm going to take it with both hands. Tell us about, uh, tell us about who you're fighting. Uh, Sven Elbeer, 18 and one, solid fighter, uh, tough, a good guy to kind of start this this journey on with. And um, you know, I've been out of the ring for a while. I got COVID really bad not too long ago, so I'm, you know, I'm still kind of rubbing that off. Um, this is a great, this is a great opponent to get back into the ring with, and then we're looking for a, a big, big fight at the end of the year. You, you said about having a lengthy period out of the ring. You fought once since December 2019. Has that been a frustrating period for you, or do you think you've used that to really hone your skills with Roy Jones Jr.? Well, you know, I. It, it was it was an issue, but at the same time, I would have never met Roy if it wasn't for COVID. Um, you know, and I spent a year and a half on his farm, learning day in day out uh, from you know a master, a genius. Yeah. So I, I used I, I, I took a negative and I turned it into a positive, and I feel like I'm a better fighter for that. Even though I haven't been active in the ring, I've been active in the gym. And uh, now it's just up for me to, to show the progress I've made. Do you think working with Roy has, has, has given you that little bit of something extra because you're known as a, you're known as a very fit athletic fighter, but Roy Jones, that's, that's pure, that's art, that's skill, that's class. And a few eyebrows were raised when you, you joined forces with, with Roy because he's, he's making you work on the te technical aspect of boxing. How's that worked out? Has it been easy, an easy transition? Listen, nothing about boxing is easy. Um, and especially when you have, you know, maybe trained or fought a certain way for so long, you know, it take, takes time. There's teething, there's teething, uh, there's a teething pro process and, you know, you have to be open to new things. You have to learn and, and, and keep a, you know, keep an open mindset. Um, fortunately for me, I have, you know, one of the greats and someone that I fully trust in everything that he's telling me. Um, and, and so far, everything he's, he's told me and taught me has, has worked and paid off. So, yeah. It's, I've, got, I've got to ask a question. Did your old man have a problem with that? <laughs> I was thinking exactly the same thing. No, he was, he was extremely happy. Um, you know, great deal of respect for Roy. They both have great, great deal of respect for each other. And, um, you know, when I said that I wanted to go out there and, and train with Roy Jones, he was fully behind it. So, uh, yeah. Everything's, everything's good. So what have you been working on? What for you, working with Roy, has changed? You know, it's more of a mindset for me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm 31 years old. Uh, my fight style, my, you know, the things I do in the ring aren't going to just go away. I'm not going to just become a completely different guy. But in terms of the mindset, in terms of, you know, how I, how I approach these fights, in terms of strategy, in terms of, you know, thinking and being smart while you're in the ring, Roy has added a whole new aspect of that game, of that, of, of that, of that form of fighting to my, to my technique and to, to the way I fight. So, um, you know, he, he's a master of, of the mind games and, and of the mindset. So uh, mentally, I'm, I'm, I feel I'm a much stronger fighter for sure. That's good to hear. Um, you spoke there about wanting the big fight and this, that's the aim of the game. You said you want that sort of by December time. What's the long-term plan? You have mentioned Triple G in the past. Is he still on, on your hit list, shall we say? Absolutely. He, he's a middleweight world champion. And that's a fight that the fans have been calling for for years now. Um, the fight has to happen. And it will happen within the next 12 months. A few eyebrows were raised initially when you, when you kind of partner your name with, with Triple G. Is he the only one on, on the hit list or are the others out there in the, in the world? That, well, that's the great thing about the middleweight division right now. There's, there's a lot of great, exciting fighters and world champions out there. Um, Golovkin is at the top, just for the pure fact that he is, uh, you know, one of the biggest names in the sport. How realistic is that? Oh, it, I mean, listen. I Happening, mean, I mean. It, it, it's, it has to happen, and it's extremely realistic. They, their team actually contacted... Uh, 
contacted us and have, have shown interest um, in, in making something happen. So, you know, the fight will happen. And, um, you know, it's just up for me. It's, it's just up to me to be ready for when, when, when the time comes. So that, that's in the future. Let's just bring it back to October the 2nd. What can we expect? Well, you know, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be fun. This is a fun, fun fight. And, um, you know, I've got a lot of pent up energy and aggression. I've been, I've been out of the ring for a while. I, I was able to display some of the, uh, the things me and Roy have been working on uh, in, in my last fight on the here on Sky Sports a couple of months ago. Very controlled. It was very controlled, you know, smart. You know, I let him off the hook a little bit in the second round. Purposely. Well, you know, I, I, I wanted to get the 12 rounds in under oh, my belt. Okay. You know, I didn't want to take the guy out All too quickly. All part of the plan, Johnny. <laughs> you know, I, wanted, I, wanted my, I wanted my, you know, 15 minutes. Well, I, suppose, I suppose, you know, some, some fighters, they don't actually take advantage of that opportunity to, to, to express what they've learned in the gym and take the time. It's like a, a cat with a mouse. Take the time when they're in the ring and practice a few things they're practicing. Well, listen, you know... <laughs> People always say, boxers always say, you don't get paid for overtime. You're supposed to take the man out as soon as you can. But I felt like I was in complete control. I wanted to be able to experience what it was like to have Roy Jones in my corner. I wanted to get some of the ring rust off, being out of the ring for so long. So I didn't feel the need to take him out early. I wanted to, I wanted to get the experience. Um, that isn't how it's going to be moving forward. On October 2nd, as soon as I get the opening, this guy's going to sleep. That's just how the game is. That's how the game is. I can't 27-year-old Sven, German Sven. Sven Elbin, 18-1. Yeah. So he knows what he's doing. Tough opponent. Um, 14 knockouts. 14 knockouts. So, you know, I've, I've got a real task on my hands, but I'm, I'm ready. OK, well, we can't wait for it. October the 2nd, very much looking forward to it. Thanks for joining us, Chris.